You are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 7 to the power of 1 plus x plus 7 to the power of 1 minus x. This is equal to 50. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. This exponential equation is of the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplying by a to the power of m. And also this is exponential equation is a form of a to the power of n minus m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n over a to the power of m. Applying these two exponent properties, then we have 7 to the power of 1 times 7 to the power of x, then plus 7 to the power of 1 divided by 7 to the power of x. This is equal to 50. Now, the next step from here, we can let 7 to the power of x be equal to u. So let's substitute 7 to the power of x with u, so that we have 7u plus 7 divided by u. This is equal to 50. Now, 50 is our number, so this is over 1. And 7u is our number, so this is of 1. The FCM is u, so let's multiply everything here by u. And also here by u. So we have 7u to the power of 2, then plus u and u simplifies. So we have plus 7 here. This is equal to 50u. Now, let's take 50u on the left hand side, so that now, we have 7u to the power of 2 minus 50u plus 7. This is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 7, b is equal to minus 50, and c is equal to 7. So we can solve this quadratic equation here by factorization method we have that the product here is equal to 7 times 7 which is 49 and we have the sum is equal to minus 50 so we need to identify two factors here so that when we multiply those two factors we get a value of 49 if we sum those two factors we get a value of minus 50 so these two factors these two factors we have minus 49 and minus 1 so minus 49 times minus 1 this is 49 minus 49 plus minus 1 this is minus 50 so this implies that here we have 7 u to the power of 2 then subtract 49 u then subtract u then plus plus 7 this is equal to 0. Now we have got two parts here. This is the first part and this is the second part. From the first part here, we have that 7u is common here. So we can factor out 7u into the parentheses. This is u minus 7. Then subtract the second part here. We have that 1 is common. So we factor out 1 so that we have u minus 7 this is equal to 0 now in this case we have u minus 7 is common here so we have u subtract 7 multiplying by 7u minus 1 this is equal to 0 so we go we have got two parts here the first part is u minus 7 this is equal to 0 and we have 7u minus 1, this is equal to 0. So from the first part here, we have that u1 is equal to 7. And on the second part here, we have that this is 7u equal to 1. So let's divide both sides by 7. This implies that u2 is equal to 1 over 7. So we have u1 equal to 7 and u2 is equal to 1 over 7. Now, if you recall, 
if you recall, we are saying that let u be equal to 7 to the power of x. Let's start with u1 which is 7, so that we have 7. 7 it is this to the power of 1, this is equal to 7 to the power of x. Since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m, and since the bases are common here, exponent n should be equal to m. So applying this property, then we have here x1, x1 is equal to 1. We have x1 is equal to 1. Now given that u2 is 1 over 7, then we have 7 to the power of x, this is equal to 1 over 7. Now, the next step from here, we have that 1 over a, this can be expressed as a to the power of minus 1. So let's apply this property here, so that we have 7 to the power of x, this is equal to 7 to the power of minus 1. Again, the bases are common here. So applying this property, we have that here, x2 is equal to minus 1. We have x2 is equal to minus 1. So we have two values of x here. We have x1 equal to 1 and x2 equal to minus 1. So the next step from here is to verify that x1 and x2 satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that x1 which is 1 and x2 which is minus 1 satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 7 to the power of 1, this is 1 plus x, then plus 7 to the power of 1 minus x. This is supposed to give us a value of 50. So let's substitute the value of x1 here, which is 1, so that we have 7 to the power of 1 plus 1, then plus 7 to the power of 1 minus 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 50. So 7 to the power of 1 plus 1, this is 7 to the power of 2, then plus 7 to the power of 1 minus 1, this is equal to 0. This is supposed to give us a value of 50. Now, 7 squared, this is 49, then plus 7 to the power of 0. Remember, this is in the form of a to the power of 0. This is equal to 1. So let's apply this indices identity. That's a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this implies that 7 to the power of 0, this is 1. And this should give us a value of 50. So 49 plus 1. This is equal to 50, which is equal to 50. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that the value of x1, which is equal to 1, satisfies the equation. Let's check x2, which is minus 1. Let's substitute this into the equation here. So we have 7 to the power of 1 plus minus 1 then plus 7 to the power of 1 minus into the parenthesis minus 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 50. So this is 7 to the power of 1 plus times minus 1. This is minus 1. Then plus 7 to the power of 1 minus 1 times minus 1. This is plus 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 50. So 7 to the power of 1 minus 1, this is 7 to the power of 0, then plus 7 to the power of 1 plus 1, this is 2. This should give us a value of 50. So here, 7 to the power of 0, this is 1, then plus 7 squared, this is 49. This should give us a value of 50. And therefore, 1 plus 49, this is equal to 50, which is equal to 50. Therefore, the left add side 
is equal to the right third side. And this implies that x1 and x2 satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video.